Now, you know, why? Why are you studying about clouds? Why is, is it useful? Is it useful? And for us, cloud is only this. Right? This is how we have been drawing cloud for such a long time. So why would you want to study about cloud? Approach this study with very interest. How? Why do you want to study? Okay. Imagine you are walking with your boyfriend or girlfriend, right? And suddenly you see the cloud and you study something. Okay. And after some time, you take out the umbrella and do like this. And she, he or she is asking, why are you taking out the umbrella? And suddenly it starts raining. How will you look like? How will that? Oh, he's laughing. <laughs> Hari. So how will you look like in that situation? Like a superstar, right? Yes or no? Mother is going out from your house and you're seeing like this. Amma, take the umbrella. It would rain in five minutes. And she says, ah, go. You don't know anything. And she goes out, gets wet and come back. So while you're laughing, uh, I told you, right? <laughs> so... To understand clouds, we can make many predictions seeing the size, the color, the shape of the clouds. And that is why we are studying clouds. So anything when you know why interesting, you learn to study it better, right? Just clouds. Study what is clouds. No. Why? Okay. Uh, there's a very beautiful movie of Swadesh. Have you seen that movie, Swadesh? Yeah. And Shah Rukh Khan comes to the village and tells, what do you do? So he says, I work for NASA. So they say, Nasha? Uh, NASA. And what? What do you do there? So I say, I predict uh, whether uh, I send satellites and they to understand whether rainfall will come or not. So, uh, to ka birju karta hai, birju ke bata ki, and he sees like this and say, ah, do din tak barish nahi hai. <laughs> Till two days, there would be no rain. So that's a very interesting. Okay, right. Um, clouds. Cloud is a mass of minute water droplet or tiny crystals of ice. So it would be Water droplet, tiny crystals of ice or a mixture of both formed due to condensation of water vapor in free air at a considerable height. This is the definition. So it can be either water vapor, it can be either crystal of ice or a mixture which is formed due to condensation of water vapor at a great height. Clouds are caused mainly by the adiabatic cooling of air below its dew point. As the clouds are formed at some height over the surface of the earth, they take various shapes. What all shapes have you seen in clouds? What all types of clouds have you seen? White and black color. Shape some of the clouds would be continuous flat like a, a, a bed sheet, right? And some would be this like this, puffy. So, right. Not now, this is a very, very interesting statement. Not all clouds produce precipitation, but precipitation will not occur without cloud formation. So, not every cloud will give rainfall, but for rainfall to happen, clouds should be present. Okay. It plays an important role in the heat energy budget. Yes. Definition of cloud is done. Now, we all have our name, right? You guys know my name. What is my name? Huh? You don't know my name? Sundaram Ganesh, right? Same way, clouds also have two parts in their name. Okay? The first part consists of at what height the cloud is. The first part of the name will show at what height is the cloud is. Is it from 0 to 2 kilometers? We call it as strato. The first word would be strato. If it is from 2 to 6 kilometers, the first name would be alto. And if it is from above 6,000, the first name would be zero. Okay. Their clouds are named as two parts. And the first part of the name of the cloud shows the height at which the cloud is present right now. 
strato the first word can be strato not stratus that's different strato strato means clouds at a low level between the height of 0 to 2000 meters strato then alto from 2000 to 6000 meters and the last one would be zero. Zero. Above 6,000 meters. Zero. Okay, so strato, alto, and zero. Done. The first part would represent the height. The second part of the name will represent what? Shape of the cloud. The second part would represent the shape right now. The second part of the name concerns the form or shape. The first shape is called as cirrus. Height is zero, right? This is cirrus. So, you would have seen clouds at a very, very great height. Okay. The topmost cloud. Maybe you see these clouds mostly in stratosphere also. Lower part of stratosphere. So such clouds would be thin layer. You can see like a girl white hair. Just like this white hair of clouds. Like a wisp of hair. At a very, very great height. White in color. Formed due to ice crystals. Such a shape is called as Cirrus clouds, right? Cirrus, cirrus clouds. A lock or wisp of hair. Cirrus clouds. A lock or wisp of hair. Then, cirrus clouds are formed at high altitude at the range of 8,000 to 12,000 meters. And because they are at such a height, they contain ice crystals. Okay. They are thin and detached clouds having a feathery appearance. They are a thin and a detached clouds having feathery appearance. They are always white in color. Another very, very important point. They are always white in color. Thank you. And are made up of ice crystals. And are made up of ice crystals. You can draw this diagram also. The second shape is what we have been drawing for our lifelong. Cumulus. 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 Okay. Now this is very, very important, guys. Let's understand what does cumulus cloud. If you can see, okay, now if uh, Rahul is seeing the cloud was like this, okay, after some time he studies current affairs, two, three topics and then he goes out again, he sees that the same cloud has gotten a little more puffier. Then after some time he can see that the cloud is again getting puffier. Rahul can understand at this area, the air is rising upwards. And the, when air is rising upwards, such a condition, what do we call such a condition as? Unstable atmosphere. Remember, stable and unstable atmosphere, I have told you. I have taught you stable and unstable atmosphere. Yes, right? So when the air is rising, when you see clouds that is moving upper and upper, becoming puffier and puffier, you can say for sure that the air is rising upwards. And when the air is rising upwards, we can say there is a chance of rainfall. You cannot be sure that is rainfall, but there is a chance of rainfall. And such a weather condition is called as unstable atmosphere. Sure? Very good. Right. There. Cumulus clouds. Cumulus clouds look like cotton wool. They are generally formed at a height of 4,000 to 7,000 meters. They exist in patches 
and can be seen scattered they will have except they will be like separate puffy slugs they exist in patches and can be seen scattered here and there okay next very important point everybody the base would be flat because this is the temperature at which condensation is starting and then it will grow upwards the blaze would be flat and you can see that they will grow upwards because this is where the condensation has started they have a flat base where condensation begins as the air rises they develop vertically means they will start growing vertically and this is a visible evidence of unstable atmosphere so i told you when you see such a cloud growing at a very fast height you can suggest to carry an umbrella with somebody right take the umbrella when you go out so after this class go out and check out what kind of cloud can you see the last one is stratus what does the word signify stratus strata what do you mean by this word what does the meaning comes out of this word stratus or strata position no strata means flat layer of soil so if you have a layer like a bed sheet like this we call it a strata soil layers strata okay so strata means flat and plain surfaces i know so that word comes stratus clouds so you would have seen a thin layer like a bed sheet covering the whole sky such a cloud is called as stratus cloud so write down stratus you would have heard this word with soils also soil strata right layers of soil as the name implies these are layered clouds covering large portions of the sky these clouds are generally formed either due to loss of heat or the mixing of air masses with different temperatures or mixing of air masses with different temperatures now everybody see you can see a cloud which is flat what can you understand from this type of cloud air is not moving upwards no rainfall chance stable atmosphere so atmosphere would be stable there is no chance of rain they denote stable atmospheric conditions there is one more type which we'll have to study that is nimbus have you heard this word nimbus anywhere nobody has heard this word nimbus no harry potter fans in the group nimbus 2000 was the broomstick on which he wins the game okay i am a very big harry potter fan for that nimbus clouds and when you connect things to different ideas in your life it's easy to remember right nimbus clouds or rain bearing clouds so nimbus are the clouds that are dark in color as you said okay white and dark so dark color clouds are called as nimbus clouds and they give a clear indication of what rainfall precipitation so write down nimbus or rain bearing clouds nimbus clouds are black or dark gray they form at middle level or very near to the surface of the earth they are extremely dense and opaque to the rays of the sun you have seen when the dark clouds come suddenly it becomes dark it becomes dark the sunlight cannot pass them they are opaque these are extremely dense and opaque to the rays of the sun sometimes these clouds are so low that they are seen to touch the ground and the most interesting part is nimbus clouds they don't have any particular shape 
nimbus cloud are shapeless masses of thick water vapor yeah preparation you have to keep up yourself energetic so cumulo nimbus this is another type of cloud called as cumulo nimbus clouds okay so you can write it down i'll explain this cloud here itself or we'll be studying later also so when the land below becomes very hot suddenly the air will start rising upwards causing a anvil shaped cloud called as cumulo nimbus cloud such a cloud is where we can see hailstones have you seen hailstones what do you call hailstones in hindi in malayalam what do you call hailstones alipadam right what do you call in tamil alingatti and what do you call it in hindi guys barf pe gole girte na upar se we'll be studying this again so such kind of hailstones are formed in cumulo nimbus clouds these are the different types of clouds nothing important you don't need to draw this we'll talk more about cumulo nimbus clouds later 